Welcome to Medicine Woman Tarot. This is going to be a general reading for the sign of Aries. Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Father God, in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, help me to give a clear and accurate reading for the sign of Aries. If you'd like to make any donations towards my channel, you can find the link in the description section. Just as a side note, with any donation you give, if you choose so you could ask me a question in the comment section. And I will make a tarot video for you answering that question. I want to apologize in advance for any background noise you may hear due to the dog snoring. And just as another side note, I have wrote a few songs, and if you want, you can find those in my post section. The link is connected to there. All right, and it's a free download. So the first thing I saw within the pink gem for you today, I scurried it before starting the video, was very beautiful. Another sign got a similar, similar message last week, but this one's a little bit different. So what first showed was something like a bird and it wasn't like fully forming almost looked like a hen almost which represents you know rebirth and you know prosperity and then it showed the virgin mary and she was wearing a white cloak and she had her hand to her heart and she had this like dark band that was over her hair covering and then she was holding a white lamb and then jesus the baby jesus in her hands and but that showing up, that is representing this very divine love that is being given to you. And with the lamb, it represents Jesus, his sacrifice, and it represents purity. And with the Virgin Mary being there, you know, it's representing that divine love. You know, you're very much divinely loved here is what is showing up. Now, what's interesting is to the right of Mother Mary and Jesus was Christopher Columbus. Now, he was like in that traditional look where he's got that hat on. Now, that's going to very much coincide with how your cards flipped out. You're being warned about a certain individual that is coming from a low vibrational energy. Now, with Christopher Columbus being there, he represents deceit. You know, he came over to the new world and or to him, it was a new world. And he ended up, you know, being, you know, showing this like very deceitful energy, very backstabbing energy. So with this showing up, this is representing someone in your life that is a backstabber. So the car, the first card to flip out for you today is the Seven of Feathers. Now with the Seven of Feathers, it says Jacob the Deceiver. It says, Jacob said to his father, I am as you, your fish, firstborn. I have done as you told me. Please sit up and eat some of my game so you may give me your blessing. So I know I'm probably pronouncing his name wrong, but basically he stole his brother's birthright. And by doing so, he deceived his father, you know, by trying to say he was his other brother, when in truth, he was the other one. So he took his blessing. So this is representing someone that wants to take from you, wants to take your blessing from you. Now, remember, God is with you. You have divine protection. But this does represent someone that is behind the scenes trying to be deceitful. Now, the seven of feathers also represents, like I said, deception, cunning, manipulation tactics, selfish actions or personal gain, evasion of responsibility, navigating through trickery, complex moral implications. So it's letting you know to be aware of a person, possibly a family member, someone that's very close to you. Now, like I always say, take it how it resonates. And if the video clicks off, I will make the second half to it. So the next card to come out for you was the seven of wands now this had wanted to flip out in reverse but it came out backwards so with the seven of wands being here it represents stand your ground but you're going to be able to leave that energy soon where you're not going to have to be on edge next card out for you is the strength card so jesus is going to give you strength over your enemies in dealing with this situation next card out for you is the world card so with the world card being here, this represents when one door closes, another opens. And it also represents opportunities, new beginnings that are going to be coming for you. If you're at the bottom of the circle, you will be at the top. If someone sees this new beginning coming in for you and they want to cause a tower moment for you, they want to cause a shakeup. They want to cause you some type of stress because they're upset about your new beginning. And that was clarified by the Knight of Swords. Now the Knight of Swords represents not wanting to miss out on an opportunity of causing you this distress. And they're in the Knight of Wands energy. So this person is kind of reckless is this energy I'm getting. This person is trying to come in very quickly towards you. They're not thinking. And this could be someone that's unreliable, a flirtatious nature, individual. And they're going to be offering you the Six of Coins here. So they want to offer you something. But be careful of what this person is trying to offer you. 
if they're trying to give you money for something or trying to befriend you in some way, some type of gift, you're being cautioned against it here with the Six of Coins with the way it's pairing up. Next card out for you is the Eight of Wands. This message is going to be coming in very quickly towards you. This is a lot of action coming in quickly. Next card out for you is the Knight of Wands. They want to, I'm sorry, Nine of Swords. They want to cause you sleepless nights, mental anxiety, torment, confusion. They want to cause all this, you know, for you, whatever it is that they want you to accept for them. So be careful whatever it is they're trying to give you. Now, you don't need their assistance if this is what you're, you know, going to think that you need from them or you need something from them. It's just going to cause you drama. You're still going to have your nine of coins, which is financial abundance and good things coming to you. And the next card out for you is the six of wands. So you're going to have financial abundance as well as being recognized for something here with the six of wands. You're going to be getting recognition. So those are positive cards that come out. Just be aware of this individual that could be close to you, whoever this person is. It could be a best friend. Someone you're least expecting is kind of the feeling I'm get. Now, the next card out for you is the Bible verse. Therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe you have received it and it will be yours. So whatever you ask for in Jesus' name, ask and you shall receive and it shall be given to you. So that's a very positive card to come out for you. And just know that whatever it is you're hoping for, you will receive it. Just be aware of this person in the background. Next card out for you is the black cat, lost magic, atonement, and rebalance. So whatever it is that you feel like you lost, there will be a balance and a regain. Next card out for you is the spring equinox eagle flight. So it's letting you know to go after your dreams. Do not be afraid to go after your, your dreams. Keep, you know, persevering, going after whatever it is that you are wanting to manifest. And the next card out for you is the chamomile inner child. So once again, this also represents dreams and inner guidance and, you know, going after what it is as you want whatever you wanted as a child but we'll get into more of this in the second half of the video see you in the next one